Code 11 Caravans here, Caravan Sam. Thought I'd uh, talk to you today about brakes, caravan brakes and how they work. Again, something um, people are unsure of. So I thought, well, I've got one in bits, we've got it in for service, I'll show you. Um, normally I'd be on my ramp, um, but we're a bit backlogged here today. So I'm working uh, just in the doorway. But we've got one here in bits for you, so I can show you. If you come round here, I'll just come off camera. That's the brake set up in a caravan. And it's quite old school really, like the old sort of car rear brake system. You've got your shoes here, um, you've got your adjuster at the bottom there, and then you've got where your cable comes through at the top there. And they're held by that spring there, that spring there, and a spring inside there. What happens is, when you brake with a the caravan, there's a piston at the front of the caravan near where it um, hitches onto your car, and there's like a black bag which is called the bellows, and that pushes in towards the back of the car as the caravan comes forward with motion and what it does is it then pulls on the cables which run through the chassis there at the back and it pulls that lever there and the shoes come out and they grab hold of the drum which is inside there and we're just going to be cleaning this one out in a minute so get it all nice and fresh because they can squeal a bit can these when dust builds up inside them and that friction plate there and these friction pads which are here um, I'll sand all these back gently just to get a nice finish on them and then they grab hold of the drum and cause it to stop but one of the most important things with caravans is when you've got the brakes in bits this is called a stub axle and it's got a thread on it where it has a, a nut and it, these are called one shot nuts right? this is the Alco one they do two sizes that's a 32 mil socket and they do one um, a 36 and what you do is whenever you take that nut off the old ones here next to me there it is when they're manufactured it's very difficult to see on camera but that looks like a, a round circle where the thread is it's like an oval so when it winds on to the thread there it grabs hold of it and the torque setting for these is 280 newton meters uh, and they have to be torqued to 280 newton meters and then we put uh, a, like a, a paste on, on the edge, uh, a red torque paste, so we know when we take these back in bits if there's been any movement on that nut uh, while it's been running. Never ever reuse these, yeah. Um, there was a period of time when Alco said you could when there was a supply shortage, but our procedure and approved workshop procedure is whenever a vehicle is in for service, these are always, always part of it and are replaced because when you wind them back off that oval effect it isn't as good so I've got the brand new one there that'll be put back on when I build it back up and then it'll be torqued to 280 newton meters and then the, the paste applied we then set the brakes up the little adjuster bits there and, and you do that from the back and you basically only want a slight bit of bind on the brake and then in the other end of the brake cable you test for 10 millimeters of what they call free play so you can move the cable um, and that's that's how you know that they're not set too tight you don't want them binding because they'll get too too hot and that's basically the setup um, there is an, what they call an overrun piston which is just in here so when you put the car into reverse um, if the car the caravan has then obviously gone forward towards the rear of your car uh, you put it into reverse you, and as the caravan starts to go back this lifts up here there's a little wheel inside there and it lets the brake come off so you can re reverse the vehicle back um, fairly simple system but quite clever as well in its own right so we do hundreds of these a year as part of our uh, approved service center but i've never done a video explaining how, how they actually work so i hope people find that useful um, if you've got any questions just message me uh, I'll try I'll try to get to everybody, I can't always um, because I'm out grafting as well, but I'll try my best. Um, have a great weekend if I don't speak to you before and I'll catch you on the next video.